Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Mountain Blade Warband, Spunty Magoo's story. King Harless's party are here. He's the leader of Swadia. But we don't care about him. We also don't care about the tutorial. We could go to the castle and talk to him, but we don't care about what he has to say. So instead, we're going to look at our inventory, and oh goody, we have a fish. We have a battered kite shield, a rusty sword, a bolts, a crossbow, and a swayback saddle horse. The amount of equipment in this game is quite staggering in what you can have and buy, and that is a really nice sword and I really want it, but I can't have it. So instead, I'm going to sell these items, as you can see he only has so much money, and get 16 dinars. I have 70. Now let's go to the armor merchant, and as you can see, there are some really nice things you can get, like that plate mail. Unfortunately, I can't afford it. I could, however, have a straw hat. Which, while it would make Spunty look like the dapper chap that he truly is, is not the kind of thing I want to do. What I actually want to buy is a melee weapon that's blunt, that's not a rock. The reason why is because I'm not going to take anyone prisoner without actually having a melee weapon. That will do it, but right now I have no such option, so what I must do is venture out into the world! You can click to move, and you move at a particular rate, there's a time, and you slowly eat food, either you or your party as it goes on. Certain types of food, like chicken, will eventually go bad. And the game is paused whenever you're not doing anything. If you're not moving, the game does not move either. And there are 11 looters. We are staying well away from 11, because they're following me. A general rule is if they're following you, they think they can kick your ass. If you're chasing them and they're running away, which is indicated on their name, they will therefore mean that they don't like their chances. We'll go to these guys. This is a village. The village of Vedar seems to be flourishing. The fields and orchards are humming with activity, with Filled sacks of grain and drying meat testify to the productivity of the village cropland and pasture. You remember that this village and the surrounding lands belong to the court to count place of Kingdom of Swadia. I shall go to the village centre, whereupon you can see my glorious horse. We shall be doing much with this glorious horse. You can see me riding it, as an old man. Oh look, a beggar has just entered town on a horse. Ah, uh, you've got to find... you've got to find the, uh... That looks like the village elder. It's normally a guy just standing around, not doing anything. He is the man that will tell me everything I needed to know. If I was trying to do this game properly, I'd recruit dudes from him. But I don't want to. So, let's talk to this man. Good day, sir, and welcome to Vader. I'm the elder of the village. Your beard seems to be at the top of this banner. Do you have any tasks? We are suffering greatly at the hands of a group of bandits. They take our food and livestock and kill anyone who doesn't obey them immediately. Our men are angry that we cannot defend ourselves, but we are only simple farmers. However, with some help, I think that some of the people here could be more than that. We just need an experienced warrior to teach us how to fight. I'll teach you how to defend yourself. I'll teach you how to... Sorry, got to do his voice, right? I'll teach you how to defend yourself. I have to defend myself from the occasional cat sometimes. You will? Oh, splendid! We would be deeply indebted to you, sir. I'll instruct the village folk to assemble here and receive your training. If you can teach us how to defend ourselves, I promise you'll receive everything we can give you in return for your efforts. Good! So, now you can press tab to get out and, uh, train the peasants! Eleven hours. Yeah, we'll train them. If only because we've got nothing better to do right now, and it'll show you some big-scale combat. If we were better at training, by the way, we'd be able to train one, or two, or three at once. You think one of them has fully grasped the training and is ready for some practice. This is where we strip down to our trousers and attack each other with sticks. Pretty much is me smacking him over the head. That is combat. Tell you what, Spunty knows how to take care of himself. After beating your last opponent, you explain to the peasants how to better defend themselves against such an attack. Hopefully they'll take the experience on board and we'll be prepared next time. So this is pretty much Spunty Magoo smacks villagers over the head with a stick. And this is to make them better. 
There are four bandits there. I really want to fight them, but they'll be around somewhere. You don't live in a bubble in this game. Oh god, he blocked. It's alright, I blocked too. And now, I shall proceed to smack him in the face. So, things are going on while we're doing this. Um, the guys around the other kingdoms will be fighting other people, and there'll be... There are no wars going on right now, but trust me, they'll all war with each other eventually. That's how it works, and wars happen, wars come and go, and nothing is ever stable in this kingdom. To be fair, if you're actually joining with one of the other kingdoms, you want things to be unstable. Because then... Oh, hello. You didn't even hit. At least the other guys tried to hit me. Because, um... The kingdoms being in flux means you could start... You could take hostile action, by the way, and just kill them. They're indifferent to me, but plus three, because I'm helping them. The um, kingdoms being in flux means you can attack them and steal their stuff and loot and get tons of money. Right now, I'm not getting any such things because I'm training a bunch of peasants how to fight. But hopefully, they'll give me some of their stuff for it. And I can use that to buy some cool equipment. Hello, sir! You telegraph your moves a little too quickly. Surely you know about Head Smash Magoo here. How many of these guys do I need to train? We've been doing this for days. One of those... There's some of the uh, Swadians. They won't, I won't attack them until I get into negatives with them. Um, if I get into negatives with Swadia, they all come after me like a house on fire. <laughs> Man, this guy's really going for it. He must have really learned about the head smashing. Except he didn't, did he? Ah. Ah! As you get ready to continue the training, a sentry from the village runs up to you, shouting alarms. The bandits have been spotted on the horizon, riding hard for Vader. The Elder begs you, you organize your newly trained militia to face them. Prepare for a fight! And by prepare for a fight, I mean I'm going to lead my extremely... Extremely terrible people on a terrible battle. The peasants, as you can see, are extremely well armed, as they are with cleavers, sharp sticks, and rocks. The bandits are already firing with bows. This could be, potentially, and will be, a very short battle. Oh dear word, they're forest bandits. Forest bandits are horrifying, as you can see. Fortunately, I'm using right by attack to slice them to pieces. Haha! -ha! A peasant knocked unconscious by forest bandit. We really need to actually kill these guys or else they're going to murder my face. Get out the way! I'm a man on a horse and I demand the right to stab people. Pretty much battles tend to devolve into massive maelstroms. As you can see, I'm basically relying on ride-by attacks. And the fact that I'm on a horse. This horse really helps. It gives me elevation. No! No! He was my favorite! I forgot how to access the character sheet. Ah, C. Because we've leveled. The little indicated our leveling. We get one stat point and one skill point and ten weapon points. I'm actually going to put a point into strength right now, get additional power strike which gives me extra melee damage, and more one-handed weapon at the moment. So you can magically become more powerful as you- OW! Don't hit my horse! Bad! Did we win? You know, to be honest, I don't really know. I don't think many of the peasants made it. In fact, I don't think any of them made it. Oh well. There's someone shooting me. Ow! Where is he? Where is he? Come out! This is just rude! I really lost track of him. He'll come to me. They always do. Hello? 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 I'm just an old man. Don't shoot me. 
Where is he? Like, really? Oh, there you are! Hello! Um, I'm gonna kill you now. Trust me. That really wasn't smart. Victory! We totally won that! Celebrate me! Oh. Oh, they all died. Oh. Victory! You are defeated. The enemy. Yeah! Yeah, my entire civilian army was either killed or mortally wounded. But that's okay! The bandits are broken! Those few who remain run off with their tails between their legs, terrified of the peasants and their new champion. The villagers have little left in the way of wealth after their ordeal, but they offer you all they can to show their gratitude. Take it as you're just... a cabbage. Well, times are tough. Times are tough. I did all that for a cabbage. Well... Clearly it's going to be one of those sort of days, is it? No problem. No problem. I'm sure I'll take my cabbage and... Yay. It's getting night. When it's night, um... You move a lot slower. And to be honest, you don't want it to be night. You want it to be day, and I want to go to a tavern to rest. You rest better at a tavern. So... Visit the tavern. Here it is. There's a traveller. A ransom broker if you want to ransom people off. That goit. A mercenary swordsman. Bashatur. A Nizar. And the tavern keeper. Uh, I'd like to buy... A, uh, nope. Have you heard of this realm? A command. Nope. Wrong place. I just want to wait here for some time. Which is pretty much the equivalent of just waiting for accommodation. Aha! Did you see that? There was a small band of looters there. A tiny band. Three! Aha! This is a robbery, eh? I'm giving you one chance to hand over everything you got. Or me and me mates will kill you. Understand? I'm not afraid of you lot. Fight me if you dare. I was the champion of Fadar! You mean the place where they got all murdered? How about you? Where are you? I'm... I can't see very well. If you could just indicate where you are to me by waving, I'll murder you. So this is where I'm going to get my staple of troops from looters and bandits. Firstly, they need to show themselves. I'll wait for them. We'll turn up eventually. Oh, there they are! Sir, you're probably gonna throw rocks at my face, but that's okay, because I... Oh, oh. My horse headbutted him. Oh, ow. If they kill my horse, by the way, I'm dismounted. I could get off a horse by myself. That would be silly, though. Stop throwing rocks at me! That's what you get. You're really going to try it. That was not smart. And for that, thou art dead. But I won! And their loot is mine, including this all-important club. And those boots are terrible. This armor is not better than what I'm using. This weapon is not better than... So pretty much it's all terrible. But that's okay. They had a rugged woolen cap. Yeah! Now, Spunty is hip. I got 48 dinars for murdering them. These village farmers are against nine Swadian men at arms. Men at arms are quite dangerous. Yeah, have fun with those. So, when we come back, I'm not going to take on those men at arms because I am in no way prepared for them. Instead, I shall use this club I've just gained to gain some new followers by clouting them on the head and dragging them around with me. Catch you later.